Here we go. Uh, Matt Savage of James Room Mavericks Office. Hey, Matt, here we are again, another state championship. Let's be able to compare to last year at this time when you when you won it. I hate to ask that question. Yeah, How no. Feel, but I mean, um, you know, I, I thought it was going to feel a lot different, um, just for many different reasons. Um, but <laughs> I, I can say that I would never get tired of this. Um, it, it feels really good. Um, you know, e each group of boys is different. You know, this group, even though we had a lot of similar faces, it was still different. Um, and so each team's different, and, you know, it, it felt good to, to let these boys bring home another championship. It's probably too soon to ask, but I'm going to do a story on it, so I'll ask you anyway. What do you think Eli stands in the legs? You're a Monroe County guy. Where does he stand in, you think, of the Lord and, and his legacy in Monroe County, if not number one? I mean, I'd hate to see. You know, there, there's been a lot of great players come through Monroe County. Um, you know, if we were talking about James Monroe, uh, you, you know, he, he's, he's close to number one if he's not there. Um, but then you also got, you know, there was a lot of great athletes come through Peterstown and Union, a lot of great athletes. And so, you know, it would be hard. It's kind of like the NBA. It's hard to compare eras. Um, <laughs> but but I can honestly say if he's if he's not in the top for the for one of the best, uh, something's wrong. Two state championships, I mean, that's, you know, uh, it, it, uh, probably second at James Monroe scoring. I don't know yes. where he would rank all time oh, at yes. Peterstown, but I'm, I'm in with Peterstown and Union. Yeah. You know, he, he's – like I said, if he if he's not one of the best, um, I, I think somebody's crazy that's talking about it. Um, seems like defensively you went a little different today. It wasn't yeah. so much full court you were trapping, but it was more in the half court. Yeah. Uh, was there a reason for that? Yeah, you know, we felt like Tucker's guards were pretty good. Um, they, they handled the ball really well. And so we wanted to start out in soft pressure just to see how the game was going to go first. And then when they cross half court, then we would amp it up a little bit. But first quarter, we kind of felt it out um, just to see see how it was going to go. And, you know, in between the first and second quarter, we made the decision to, to start putting a little more pressure. Um, and so we were able to trap a lot more and, and kind of speed up the game to our pace. And I asked you in the press conference about um, Eli's scoring, but all season, facilitator for these guys, last two years really facilitator yeah. for, for a lot of guys. And, um, for him to come out tonight, just kind of, it seemed like yeah, early was, on he just made a decision, maybe from what Tucker was doing. Yeah. Maybe you guys helped him make it, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to take over this game. Yeah. That's exactly well, what we, we talked last night that you know if 24 and 42, if we could get them on switches with Eli and we could clear out the lane, you know we felt like he could either score or have an easy assist on the backside for someone because it was going to be a two-on-one. And, and thankfully, you know, they, they were backing off staying on their guys, and Eli was just a, able to exploit that. So it was a coaching decision, but a great execution by Eli. Are you um, surprised that you could get as much as you did from one hop? Yeah, especially on a stage like this state championship for a kid who never played organized. Yeah, you, you never know how, how he's going to come out. You know, nerves play a point. I know sometimes he struggles a little bit with confidence yeah. too, but to yeah. come out yeah. and he – I mean, uh, some of those rebounds, he knew exactly where he was yes. going to be. He knew exactly what he was. I mean, he went up there and got it. Yeah. Physically and and if you up. watch one, if you, if you charted his progress from the beginning of the season until now, you know, he had a couple good games at the beginning of the season. It's not that he was bad at all, but as the season went, you know, it, you know, it was amazing. You know, if he, if he had another 10 games, you'd even see a better play. You know, I mean, he just continued to progress as he went. And, and tonight was a culmination. Of that. I thought he played great tonight. He's a guy that, you know, last year – made it one practice and quit. Yeah. So he comes back out. Did you tell him, right? I mean, you know, it's either you stay, you're with us now or yeah, what you know, did you tell him when well, he came back? Yeah, well, him and Colin back. had a conversation. And Colin said, dude, if you're coming out, you're going to have to stay. Like, don't, and he said, I'm staying. And so when I had the conversation with him at the beginning of the season about, you know, you might get playing time, you may not. And he's like, coach, I'll be here regardless. And like I said, first game comes around, he, he's starting for us. And, uh, you know, you've seen the progress since. I mean, he kind of needed that tonight. I mean, oh. he, Eli was really the only one scoring at that point yes. in the game. And he kept, you know, not only had you in the game, but he had a little bit of a lead. Yeah, yeah. You know, his cleanup work was amazing. Um, and we told him, if, if you can do something on the backside, if you can crash that hard, you're going to get a lot of opportunities. And not only did he crash the backside, but he was able to read where the ball was going and go up and get it. And, you know, I felt like he went back up to finish at the right times and he kicked out at the right times. You know, I, this was probably the most complete game that Juan's played. When, you know, Josh referenced, you know, four years ago we're getting our butts kicked by the likes of yeah. J.D. Spring, oh, yeah. Bluefield. Is this – a little bit, and I knew it was tough for you then too. And I don't want to put you in the hot seat. Oh, yeah. you guys were. 
I mean, it was tough at that time. It was very tough. I don't want to say vindication, but that kind of what it is. No, I agree. You know, um, and I thought some of the teams we played even that year um, felt like that we weren't um, very good, and and they kind of looked down. Um, And you know, it's not a bad thing. You know, coaches, we didn't play very good overall. You know, so, but it it feels good to come out the last three years and, and show. What we've been able to accomplish, you know, not not just the two state championships, but I felt the year before that at seventeen and two, you know, we we put ourselves kind of on the map that year. What do you do? What do you? I'm not, and I'm not asking you to say what you do season wise, but with the program, I mean, you lost quite a bit. Yes. With the guys that were two of the guys that were up, yeah. all, actually all three of the guys yes. were seniors. The guys behind them were seniors. I mean, was this? An end of a run, or can you sustain something from from just being able? To yeah, no, I, I truly feel you know the good thing is right now in Monroe County we've we've got a good uh, program built up in the off season um, where they're they're putting in more work now than they used to um, because it used to be you know November through beginning of March and that that was your season you know and and now they're they're getting in the weight room they're they're getting into open gyms they're getting in you know and and they're putting in the work they need to put in and. You know, I feel like this younger group's uh, going to do that just as strong. You know, so so we'll see how it plays out. You never know, but uh, I feel like they're going to put in the work to do that. What did you say to Eli when he came out the last time? I mean, I know you had the same situation with Shad last year. You know, and Josh and some of the other guys. I mean, but I'll just be honest. Him. Um, you know, Eli means a lot to me, and uh, I just hugged him and told him I loved him. You know, that's nothing else needed to be said. So, I mean, they, these guys got it. You, you. No, you didn't have print shirts printed or anything like that, but you kind of, you kind of expected to be here. Is it a little bit more in yeah, that I, regard? Maybe you know the, these boys, especially changing? yeah, these boys expected it. You um, were defending, not chasing. Yes, and and these boys expected to do that. Period. Like you know, as coaches, we were taking a game at a time, trying to figure out you know what we needed to do to get that win, and and we knew they were going to be tough. But with these boys, you know, it's uh, their confidence was that you know we're going to win again. And so whatever we need to do to get there, we'll do it. And they accomplished it. Two losses in the last two years. Yeah. Two <laughs> pretty good programs. Yeah. Would run. You know, I, we, we were just talking about that, uh, walking down the hallway, that, you know, we've got two losses in two years and only four in three years. Um, you know, and um, that's – I don't think anybody in the state got that Yeah, run. you know, that's, that's, a, that's a nice little run there for sure. Um, what does it mean that you were able to come down here and win every game by 10 or more points for two years? I think it shows how good this team is. You know, and, and you don't want to say that to the season ends, um, but this is a this was a very good team, very good team, and uh, for them to show, I don't know if you want to use the word dominance or not, but but to show what they could do down here to each team, um, you know that that's awesome on their part um, because as coaches, yeah, you, you can get the game plan, but if it's not executed, it's not going to matter, and I felt like they executed it to perfection. You know, I, I can tell you this from covering you guys for two years. Um, I think the head coach deserves a lot of that uh, credit, too. Well, and I appreciate that a lot. It's been a great, a great run. Dave, I appreciate you, man. Thank you, Matt. Thank you.